All right, we want to send things over to our first alert meteorologist, Brittany Rainey, right now. And you guys have issued a weather alert for later this afternoon and this evening, Brittany? That's exactly right, because we are looking at more strong to severe thunderstorms developing across the area. Just like the past several days, that very large hail, up to two inches in diameter, roughly the size of an egg. That's the main concern, but we still could get some of those damaging winds up to 70 miles an hour, and we can't completely rule out an isolated tornado or some localized flooding. So we'll take you through first alert future cast as we get. Get through the lunch hour. We're still quiet. You're still dry. You're still good to go. But once we get closer to three to four o'clock, we're going to have a couple of things happening. We have a front that's moving south through Oklahoma. We have a dry line that's moving east, headed our way, and then we also still have an outflow boundary into parts of northeast Texas from overnight storms. So any of those could initiate the storms this afternoon. So here's a look around three to four o'clock. We'll likely start to see those thunderstorms developing right along the Red River. They could fill in a little bit more as they head down to the south. So right through the Metroplex around 5 to about 8 o'clock tonight. I know it's really poor timing for a lot of graduations that are going on, especially east of 35. We do have that slightly better chance of seeing some of the thunderstorms. And then here's a look at 10 o'clock, likely starting to dry out along I-20. And then these will continue to shift to the southeast. And with the loss of that daytime heating, we will gradually see them weakening into the early morning hours. Now, everybody is going to see the thunderstorms today, but because we do have that potential that if they break through the cap to quickly become severe, we do want you to pay attention. We have that level three enhanced risk right along I-35 tomorrow evening. Also, especially if you live up along the Red River, we want you to be weather aware because we do have that potential for a few more severe thunderstorms. But the energy with that system is going to be focused a little bit further north, although we can't completely rule out an isolated shower or storm down towards I-20. But first alert satellite and radar quiet right now. A lot of us still dealing with those cloudy conditions. But look at these feels like temperatures. It's already feeling like the mid to upper 80s across the region. Even out west, it's feeling close to the mid to upper 90s. We will still see our temperatures climbing into the 90s through to the weekend with those heat indices in the triple digits through Sunday. And then we are going to see a cold front that moves in Sunday night. So look what that does to your Monday. It drops us back into the lower 90s and it puts that heat index back into the mid 90s because it's going to bring in drier air. That will help clear out some of that humidity and will feel a bit more comfortable outside. And then our first alert seven day forecast is showing rain and thunderstorms midweek. That will also help cool our temperatures down.